up guys it's chad here at my favorite spot rockbourne trout fishery here in hampshire in the new forest i'm here with my hardy hbx fly rod 10 foot 7 weight a little bit heavy maybe i don't know let's see and with this wonderful stalking bug this daddy long legs from martin williams let's have a walk around the lake and see what we can see A nice one over there not massive but it's a nice blue gonna take my time with no rush can always be that early morning rush to get that first fish yeah that's a blue over there I assume you can see that over the weeds guys I've never seen so many fish hoe down this end. <laughs> Might be worth going and have a look under them trees as well, guys, quickly. Very clear up this end. Saying so we're in mid-July now, guys, so it isn't really the best time for fly fishing. I've got a lovely black daddy long legs pattern I think it's going to be amazing for stalking let's have a quick look uh, unfortunately a dead fish there you will see that in the summer a little bit the trout do not like this hot weather saying this glare on this side is a bit of a, a bit of a killjoy so even with my costa glasses on it does stop you Oh, that's a lovely rise. Very aggressive. That's a feeding fish. In fact, there's a couple of nice ones down there. In fact, there's bloody chocker. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About 12 fish there, guys. <laughs> there must be some form of hatch. That's... A bit brown. That might be a brown there. Some lovely fish there. Right, I'm going to quickly just go under these trees. I'm going to try and pick out a bigger fish. That's a nice one. Closest to the weeds. That's a real, in fact, there's a couple of nice fish about six pounds. That's a shame. That's a big fish. That's, a, that's one of the bigger ones. That's probably a seven or eight pound fish there that's dead. That's very unfortunate when that happens, but there's not a lot really that Peter or Simeon can do about it, especially when you're stuck in the summer. You do risk losing a few fish. Kind of a, all these glasses are well worth the investment. If I can't see anything, that's fine. I'm going to... It's a reasonable one there. So you see this stalking mark and you might, it looks easy, it isn't, <laughs> not at all actually. I can see a couple of, okay, oh, that's, that's my fault, they saw me. Right, I'm going to head back up, slightly big one here guys, I'm just going to have a shot at it and see if I, He's not. Doesn't look interested in the slightest. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't seem interested in that in the slightest. Yeah, that fish has been hooked, I think. So, time to move on. Right, guys, this is Spring Lake. This is 
my lucky lake here at Rockbourne. Normally it's quite clear, so hopefully there's no one else on it. I think my prayers have been answered. At least for the time being, I've got the lake to myself. Awesome, okay. Nice and easy, Chad. Yeah, it's a lot clearer today. A lot clearer. So I need to try and spot a big fish. A couple of nice blues there. I just need the sun to get a little bit higher in the sky. Yes. Oh, that's a nice one, that's a nice one. That is a nice one there. Away, blue. Got a suicidal. fish does not look like it's going to take a fly. Just saying there's a combination of a fish being hooked, it doesn't take well to the warm weather um, and when, when a fish really isn't showing an interest I always think it's better to move on. Rather than keep hounding it, I need to give it a few minutes. One of those suicidal blues was happy to take that then. Sometimes it's better just to stand in one spot and really take in your surroundings. There's a big old one out there. That fish there is ravenously taking anything that drops in the water. I could easily catch So peaceful here, guys. Really do like Rockbourne. Really, really do like Rockbourne. It's my favourite sloking spot. Here's a fly I'm using guys of when all else fails, one of the best summer stalking patterns. Classic pattern. Right, that's a big fish. There's another big fish here as well. I'm gonna get that one too. Oh. Okay, you ready? Let me try and go under, around. Oh, there we go. Just that was really, really, really dodgy. But I got, I got around the tree. a nice fish it's probably 
when the eight nines tens is. Here we go. That took a few different pats, about to go small to hook that. This ten foot rod is a little bit long front of these trees. <laughs> But there's no rush with a big fish. Okay, 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 easy, 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 easy. Way hello. Come on, come on, come on. I'm kind of trapped under these trees, guys. To be honest. Uh. Way hello, hello, hello. Oh, mate. Right, let's come around these. <laughs> Never seen a potential double-figure trout jump like that before. Come on. Nuts, he's going nuts. He's going nuts. Come here. No, 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 no. Oh, he's woken up. He's woken up. Oh, he's woken up. Come on, out you come, out you come, out you come. Let's try and get him over. There's all bloody weeds there. I wouldn't like to get him in that swim, really. Oh, it's not quite a double figure, I don't think. It's a big one, though. Could be up to the eight pound mark I was after for today. Wonder how big he is. Like saying, I wonder how big he is, why I've even got him in the net. <laughs> oh, I don't know, he might be at that 10. And he's gone. Lost him. Oh, my knot gave. You knob, no, no. I need to take an extra minute of my knots, guys, because that's let me down. <sighs> uh, I was rushing to tie that knot, what a bummer. Well, that was completely my own fault there, guys. I didn't double check my knots, so I excited stalking that fish. Always just take that extra few seconds to be not, guys, because you'll end up losing a big fish like I did there. There you go, guys, check this out. They've got the aerator on, and look, uh, all those fish sitting there in the current that's chucking out all that water and feeding them with all various different crustaceans and food and whatever but there's probably about 30 fish all sit oh hello probably about 30 fish sitting in the wake of the aerator a couple of bigger ones too it might be worth coming back a bit later on when that stops. All right guys, it's about half 10. I lost that probably double figure fish due to my own stupidity, uh, not checking the knot, a schoolboy error. I almost had him in the net, but um, had one rainbow about three pounds, give or take. I've had plenty of takes to this uh, small stalking bug. Definitely small seems to be the way, but you'd expect that in July. Um, you know, it's about half 10-ish. So this is the perfect time for stalking because the sun's just at that perfect angle to cut through the water so um i'm going to take a walk around all the lakes and see how we go i'm here with my um hardy 10 foot 7 weight and to be honest um i do feel it's a little bit of overkill uh that 10 foot rather than 9 foot's a real pain when i'm stalking under the trees um and this line also is quite heavy so it keeps pulling my lob my uh, line back through the rod rings so it's really really annoying so um i might swap over to my orvis um, for my next section but let's see I'm gonna have a quick walk around, see what um, what turns up. Just a standard rainbow. The stalking bug. It's the best stalking spot in the lake, but it's a pig to fish. That's the one I want it down there. Covered in weed. I think that's a nice lumpy spartic out there. That's my line from where I hooked that fish and uh 
took that fish and ended up in the tree. All these big fish are in awkward places. Ah, oh, there he is. The one from earlier. Might have another go for him in a minute. It's a nice chunky rainbow. There we go. Tell you what guys, it's getting towards that I'm hungry o'clock. I have to go and have a bite to eat. Hello. Look at you. Oh I'm well, watching where I was going, I'm squished you. Aren't you adorable? I think I've seen your mama from Spring Lake. So I'm gonna give you a nice wide berth. Brothers and sisters are up on Spring Lake. I'm sure they come and find you. Give this a go. Nice blue over there. Nice rainbow over there too. Oh, that blue was so close. Yeah, we go. What? That was uh, definitely after that. <laughs> there we go. That blue was definitely feeding. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's better. I'm a five weight rod, not my seven weight. And you, Mr. Blue. Can get out of those weeds please oh, what's a lovely blue that's a chunky chunky blue oh he wants into those bloody weeds like no one's business oh mate come on it's on sid Knight's pearly daddy here guys As he missed it, I pulled out his mouth and I just represented. Right, I'm just going to walk up here and get myself in a swim. Walk, there we go. So, this time of year, you do not get the same fight out of the fish. Absolutely do not get the same fight out of the fish. There's just no oxygen in the water for them. So, Rockbourne, you're lucky you can still catch all for the year here that's a lovely fish that blue dust it's a lovely looking fish yeah I'll tell you, that's a... was that a pinky can't quite tell nah flesh looks blue oh there we go that's one of the better blues I've ever got oh no I don't know if that's a blue or a pink, I'm going to have to ask. It's very opaque. That's about four pounds, guys. Good catch for the summer. There you go, guys. It's about one o'clock on Long Acre. I just caught this pinky. Lovely fish, probably about three and a half pounds. Lovely condition. Um, it's absolutely roasting hot now. And I think uh, using my lighter, Orvis Helios 3, certainly makes a difference because it doesn't disturb the water in the same fashion as a big heavy seven weight also having a nine foot rod rather than a ten foot rod makes it a little bit easier casting onto trees and things but <sighs> july it's absolutely roasting hot guys you know sort of mid-july now uh, we still got august as well august in my opinion is the worst month for fly fishing but uh yeah
So there you have it, guys. A uh, great day there at Rockbourne, as always, in Hampshire. Um, for the middle of July, I'm really, really happy to have taken free fish on the fly. It's really, really tough in the summer. The oxygen count in the water is a lot, lot lower. Um, you cannot compare catching a crisp, fresh fish in the winter months to you can do in the summer month. They just do not fight as hard in the summer just because of the lack of oxygen. It can't be helped. It doesn't matter what fishery you go to. It's just the nature of the beast summer fishing is definitely not as good as winter and spring fishing that being said i was very happy to have caught a rock born you're lucky in hampshire when i've got that flowing water you can still catch trout at this time of year and the uh, story of the day really for me there was the fact that i lost that fish due to my own stupidity and just always take that time where you're not guys because when you catch a big fish they will test your knot strength as i found out there anyway guys as always thank you for watching this is chad I'll catch you later.